Hello everyone. This is me Sadaf Sayyid here. Today I am back with a new topic where we shall be discussing about 2019 NEET question and their solutions. So let's keep going. Well to begin with the very first question we have on our screen is which of the following statement is incorrect. The following options are option A viroids lack a protein coat option b viruses are obligate parasites option c infective constituent in viruses is the protein coat and option d prions consist of abnormally folded protein well let's discuss each one the first option is about viroids which are basically the smallest pathogen they only have a circular single stranded rna and no protein coat hence this becomes an incorrect option what about the next well yes as we all know how deadly viruses can be as they are obligate parasites and they completely depend upon their host to carry out their metabolic functions so this becomes correct as well well let's talk about the third option This says that the protein coat is an infective constituent. Hmm. Well, no. The only infective constituent in a virus is the genetic material that they possess. It's either the DNA or the RNA, and not the protein coat. So this is an incorrect option. So let's discuss what are prions. Prions basically consist of abnormally folded proteins. So we got the correct answer and the correct option for this question is option C. Moving on to the next one. Proceeding with the second question, we have purines found in both DNA and RNA. The options are as follows: option A, adenine and thymine; option B, adenine and guanine; option C, guanine and cytosine; and option D, cytosine and thymine. Come on, let's solve this using a trick. When we are already talking about RNA, we know thymine doesn't count. We have also studied that instead of thymine, we have uracil in RNA. So let's strike out the options which contain the word thymine in them. Yes, we will be cancelling out option A and option D. Now to proceed further, we also have a small mnemonic, which says all that is gold is pure. See the pyramids. where this indicates the adenine and the guanine are purines whereas cytosine and thymine are pyrimidines let's discuss another short trick as you know that the words cytosine and thymine these both words they contain the alphabet y and so does the letter pyrimidines therefore cytosine and thymines become pyrimidines the rest that we have is adenine and guanine and therefore they become the purines easy isn't it so yes we also got the second option over here where we have option b which says adenine and guanine and therefore the purines which are found in both dna and rna is adenine and guanine which is option b well this was a easy one let's see what we have next next we have question number 3 which says Which of the following glucose transporters is insulin dependent? The following option are option A GLUT1, option B GLUT2, option C GLUT3, and finally option D GLUT4. Let's talk right to the point kids. Always remember GLUT1 2 3 which means glucose transporters 1 2 and 3. are always insulin independent yes i repeat they are always insulin independent which leaves us with only one option that is glut4 glut4 is insulin dependent it is present in adipose tissue skeletal muscles and cardiac muscles and is responsible for majority of glucose transport to these sites under anabolic condition therefore the answer that we have for question number 
is option D that is GLUT4 which is the only glucose transporter which is insulin dependent. So always remember this point and let's move further. Let's discuss question number 4 which says identify the cells whose secretion protects this lining of gastrointestinal tract from various enzymes. The options are Option A, chief cells. Option B, goblet cells. Option C, oxyntic cells. And option D, duodenal cells. Considering option A, chief cells, these are so called as peptic cells. And they secrete the enzyme pepsinogen, which is in its inactive form. Then we have goblet cells, which is our second option. They secrete mucus and bicarbonate to prevent the mucosal epithelium of intestine as well as stomach. Thus, it is much likely to be our answer. Mucus also aids in lubricating the ingested food material to facilitate the digestion and absorption. Third, we have the oxyntic cells, which is also known as parietal cells. They secrete HCL as well as intrinsic factor which are essential for absorption of vitamin B12. And lastly we have is the duodenal cells. Duodenal cells secrete bicarbonates which neutralizes the acidic chine that enters the small intestine. Therefore after discussing all the options above we can conclude that the cells whose secretion protects the lining of GIT from various enzymes is goblet cells. Hence, the correct answer for this question is option B that is goblet cells. Let's see what we have next. This says which of the following equipments is essentially required for growing microbes on a large scale for industrial production of enzymes. And the options are Option A, BOD digester Option B, sludge digester Option C, industrial oven And Option D, bioreactor As we have done previously, let's start with the elimination method. Option B is a sludge digester, which is mainly related to decomposing of organic solid mass into dewatered dry sludge whereas option C is about industrial oven and it is mostly for drying, curing or baking components. So production of enzyme isn't done. Hence let's eliminate the option B and C as they don't qualify for enzyme production. Then we have option D. That is about bioreactor. Bioreactors are used to produce large volume of desired culture like enzymes. It provides optimum condition like temperature, pH, oxygen etc. Coming on to BOD incubator. BOD is bio oxygen demand incubator. It is used in maintaining the temperature for tissue culture growth of microbes and etc. Therefore, we conclude that the option best suited for this question is option C, that is bioreactor, which helps in producing large volume of enzymes that can be economic for industrial production. Well, that's it for today. We will be back shortly with another few sets of NEET 2019 questions and along with the solution. Hope you liked the video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. For any queries or any comments, please drop it down in the comment section. Thank you so much. See you again.